Okay students, let us discuss about the output unit. The output unit is used for displaying or printing the process data in a user-readable form. A computer can have several output devices attached to it. Some of the common output devices are listed below. Monitor. Monitor is the most common output device. It is also called Visual Display Unit VDU, an electronic visual display for computers. Just like a television, a monitor also displays the output on the screen. The picture on a monitor is made up of thousands of small colored dots called pixels. The output displayed on the monitor is called soft copy. The most common types of monitors are Number 1. Cathode Ray 2 CRT Monitors Number 2. Liquid Crystal Display LCD or Thin Film Transistor TFT Monitors Number 3. Light Emitting Diode Monitor Number 1. Cathode Ray 2 CRT Monitors CRT monitors were the most common monitors until flat panel screens became affordable. They consist of an electron gun. In these monitors, a beam of electrons light up the pixels or phosphor dots which forms the inner coating of the screen. Color is achieved by combining red, green and blue RGB shades of different intensities. CRT monitors are bulky and copy a lot of space. They are available in various sizes like 14 inches, 15 inches, 17 inches and 21 inches. A CRT monitor still has better contrast ratios and viewing angles than any other type of computer monitor. Number 2 Liquid Crystal Display LCD Monitors LCD monitors are relatively thinner and lighter than CRT monitors. They use the light modulating properties of liquid crystals LCs. Liquid crystals do not emit light directly. They save a lot of space and can be mounted on walls. They provide a wide viewing angle and come in various sizes ranging from 17 inches to 60 inches. They display sharp images and require less power to run. They are used in wide range of applications including computer monitors, television, instrumental panels, aircraft, cockpit, displays etc. They are also used in devices such as clocks, watches, calculators, radio players, gaming devices and telephones. Number 3. Light Emitting Diode LED Monitor LED display is the latest development in this field. These monitors are light emitting diodes that acts as performance boosters in them. LED monitors offer better color quality, clarity and display than the LCD monitors. These monitors are flat, thinner and lighter in weight. The biggest advantage of LED display is its efficient and low energy consumption which is specially needed for handled and chargeable devices such as mobile phones, tablets and laptop. These monitors are in maximum use nowadays. Touch screen monitor A touch screen is a special monitor that allows the user to input information by touching the icons or graphical buttons present on the screen. One can enter only a limited amount of data by using touchscreen technology. It is also used in ATM machines, offices and cineplexes to retrieve desired information. Touchscreen monitors are used in many supermarkets and museums to give information about products and objects of historical importance, respectively. Printers A printer is a peripheral device used for printing the output on a paper or any other printable media. The printed information on the paper is called a hard copy. Printers are of two types. Number one, impact printer. Number two, non-impact printer. Number one, impact printers. Impact printers allow physical contact between the printer head and paper. That is, they print by the impact of dot wires on paper. They are also called character printers. Impact printers are classified as follows. Daisy wheel printers. These printers have good letter information capability but cannot produce graphics. They produce letter quality documents. The speed of these printers varies from 60 CP to 120 CP character per second. They are not in use anymore since they are very slow and noisy. 
dot matrix printers. These are the only impact printers in use nowadays and can be seen rarely in offices, factories or schools. They are noisy and do not have good printing quality. As a result, they are losing popularity. Besides text, they are capable of printing charts and graphics. They are relatively economical. These printers have either 9 or 24 pins on the pin's head. They use a matrix of small pins to create precise dots on paper to form characters. The speed of dot metrics ranges from 50 characters per second to 500 characters per second. As they are robust in nature, they can be used in rough conditions. Number 2. Non-impact printers Non-impact printers do not allow physical contact between the printing heads and paper. That is, they do not strike against the linked ribbon or the paper which is being printed. Only the ink used for printing touches the paper. Non-impact printers have gained popularity because they are comparatively quieter than impact printers and have better quality. In addition, they also produce colored graphics. The non-impact printers are categorized as thermal, inkjet and laser printer. Students note the fact file. The first laser printer was invented at Xerox in 1969 in America by Gary Stark Brother. Thermal printers. Thermal printers use a special heat-sensitive paper. Characters are formed when heated elements come in contact with the heat-sensitive paper, thus forming dark ended dots. The standard of print produces poor. Thermal printers are widely used in battery powered equipment such as portable calculators. Inkjet printers. They produce images by spraying tiny droplets of ink onto the paper. They have very high quality output and can also produce colored graphics. These printers are less noisy. The average quality of inkjet printer is 300 dpi, dots per inch, although few latest models offer higher resolutions. Inkjet printers use colored cartridges which combine magenta, yellow and CM links to create color tones. A black cartridge is also used for crisp monochrome output. They are cheap and ideal for home or office. The cartridge is quite costly and needs to be replaced more frequently than a laser printer. Laser printer. These printers use photocopy technology to print. Laser printers use a laser beam and dry powered ink to produce a fine dot matrix pattern. The quality of output on paper is very good. They can also produce very high quality images. They are mostly used for DTP, desktop publishing purpose. They can print about 6 to 10 pages per minute. They have a very high resolution ranging from 600 to 1200 dpi dots per inch. 3D Printers 3D printers are remarkable machines that can make everyday things in different materials in all forms. Objects are created in 3D using additive processes. In this process, an object is created by laying down successive layers of material until an object is entirely made. In comparison, 3D printers are most costlier than the impact and non-impact printers. Speakers Speakers are the output devices which are used to play sound. A speaker converts an alternating electrical current into a sound. It may be built into the system unit or connected with cables. We can listen to music and various sound effects through them. Plotters A plotter is a vector graphics printing device which is used to print graphical plots on paper or polyester films. Plotters are different from printers. They are generally vector based and draw lines using a pen. Vector based means from point to point compared to the normal pixel based system. Vector-based printing gives better lines and graphics. Plotters are basically used for graphical applications like computer-aided designing CAD and for printing maps and drawings. There are two types of plotters, flatbed plotters and ground plotters. Modern plotters made by HP use either text-jet or laser-jet technology. Common manufacturers include Helvet, Packard and Roland. Number 1. Flatbed Plotter 
A flatbed plotter is also known as a table plotter. It plots on a paper that is spread and fixed over a rectangular flatbed table. A pen mounted on a moving carriage moves in accordance with the signals received from the CPU and produces drawing on the paper. It is very slow in drawing or printing graphs. Number 2. Drum Plotter The first scanner was a drum scanner unit introduced in 1957 at US National Bureau of Standards by Russell Kiris and his team. A drum plotter is also known as a roller plotter. It consists of a drum on which a paper is placed. The drum then rotates back and forth to produce the graph on the paper. The pen mounted on a fixed carriage moves horizontally across the paper to create a perfect drawing. They are more noisy and compact as compared to the flatbed plotters. They are used to produce continuous output such as plotting earthquake activity.